Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip with some music to my timeline. Now, if you have music or other tracks you don't want to cut, be sure to click on those tracks to lock them before you begin editing. Once you've done that, position the playhead to where you want your flicker effect to start. I'll put mine where the beat speeds up. Then, press the C key on your keyboard to make a cut at that position. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the playhead one frame forward and press the C key to make another cut at the playhead's position. Keep moving the playhead forward one frame and making cuts at each position for as long as you want your flicker to last. Okay, for this next part, I recommend zooming into your timeline so the single frames are easier to select. Now, click on every other frame to select them. When doing this, be sure to select the middle of the frame so there's a yellow border around each one. If you select the brackets on the end of the frame, you won't be able to delete them later on. Keep in mind, if you click the wrong part of the frame on accident, you can always just click it again to deselect it. Once you've selected every other frame, hit the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of them. Now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flicker effect that matches the beat. This looks nice, but another type of flicker effect is to put a different video on the track above your main video and cut out every other frame of that top video. Personally, I think this looks even better, but yeah, that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching and see you next time.